Have you ever noticed how the vacuum cleaner is both one of the most useful and one of the most annoying machines in the house? It's loud, it's clunky, and sometimes it even scares the family pets. But try living without it, and suddenly your home feels like it's drowning in dust. What's funny is, most of us push this thing around every week without ever stopping to ask, where did it actually come from? Who thought up the idea of a machine that literally sucks dirt out of our carpets? That's what we're going to find out today as we dive into the fascinating history behind the question, who invented vacuum cleaners? Stick around because the story might surprise you, right here on History of Simple Things. To really understand why the vacuum cleaner even needed to exist, we have to rewind to the 19th century. Back then, houses were heated with coal, streets were filled with mud and horse manure, and people tracked all of it inside. Wall-to-wall -wall carpeting was becoming trendy among the wealthy, and rugs became a symbol of comfort. But there was one huge problem. Cleaning those carpets was a nightmare. Instead of vacuuming, people had to take rugs outside, hang them on a line, and beat them with a stick or paddle. Imagine doing that every week, raising a dust storm so intense that it probably choked anyone within a 10-meter radius. Cleaning wasn't just exhausting, it was unhealthy. The dust contained everything from soot to bacteria, and households were desperate for a better solution. So who came up with the idea of sucking dirt up instead of beating it out? The first known attempt came in 1860, when a man named Daniel Hess from Iowa patented a machine called a carpet sweeper. Hess's invention did have a kind of suction system, but it wasn't motorized. Instead, it relied on bellows. Yes, the same kind of bellows you'd use to stoke a fireplace. As you push the contraption, the bellows would blow air through the device and collect dust into a cloth bag. It sounded clever on paper, but in reality, it was impractical. Imagine trying to clean your house while dragging around what was basically a noisy accordion on wheels. Not exactly convenient. Still, Hess planted the seed for the idea that cleaning could involve pulling dirt away instead of just pushing it around. Fast forward to 1869, when another American inventor, Ives McGaffey, tried his hand at tackling the dust problem. He built a contraption he called the Whirlwind. This one was hand-cranked. Picture yourself vacuuming while simultaneously turning a crank with one arm. It was bulky, awkward, and not particularly effective, but it marked a major step forward. McGaffey's design is often considered the first actual vacuum cleaner patent. The problem, of course, was usability. Imagine trying to clean your living room while sweating from cranking a wheel nonstop. It was more of a workout machine than a cleaning device. Not many people wanted to trade rug beating for a one-person circus act in the parlor. While Americans were tinkering with hand-crank dust collectors, the real breakthrough came from across the Atlantic. In 1901, a British engineer named Hubert Cecil Booth took one look at the existing designs and thought, why are we blowing air out? Why not suck it in? Booth tested his theory in the most bizarre way, by placing a handkerchief over his mouth and sucking dust out of a chair. He nearly choked in the process but it convinced him that suction could work. Booth's invention was massive, literally. His puffing Billy vacuum cleaner wasn't something you could keep in your closet. It was so big it had to be pulled around by horses. When someone hired Booth's company to clean their carpets, the machine stayed outside on the street while long hoses snaked into the house through the windows. Despite its size, it worked incredibly well and soon his cleaning services were in demand in hotels, theaters, and even Buckingham Palace. 
So while Booth didn't invent the household vacuum as we know it, he proved that suction was the future. Of course, nobody wanted a horse-drawn vacuum parked outside their home every week. People wanted something smaller, something they could keep and use themselves. That's where an American janitor named James Murray Spangler enters the story. In 1907, Spangler, who suffered from asthma, was desperate for a way to clean without stirring up dust clouds. He cobbled together a strange-looking contraption made from a soapbox, a broom handle, a pillowcase, and most importantly, an electric motor from a fan. His invention was portable, electric, and actually worked. Unlike previous models, Spangler's cleaner was lightweight enough to be used inside the home. But here's the twist. Spangler didn't have the money to manufacture it on a large scale, so he sold the patent to a man you've probably heard of, William Hoover. That's right, this is where the Hoover name enters history. William Hoover recognized the potential of Spangler's design and went all in. By 1908, the Hoover Company was producing electric vacuum cleaners for the American market. Hoover's version had a steel casing, a cloth filter bag, and powerful suction, basically the first vacuum that actually resembled the modern ones we know today. The company marketed it aggressively, offering home demonstrations so customers could see just how much dirt they'd been living with. People were shocked and a little disgusted to discover how much dust the machine pulled out of their carpets. It was both gross and revolutionary. Before long, hoovering became synonymous with vacuuming, especially in Britain. Much like how people say Google it today, in the UK they still say hoover the carpet. That's how much William Hoover dominated the market. Once the foundation was set, the vacuum cleaner quickly evolved. The late 20th century brought more variety, upright vacuums, handheld models, and eventually cordless versions. And of course, we can't forget the modern robotic vacuums. In 1996, Electrolux introduced the first robot vacuum, and in 2002, iRobot launched the Roomba, which quickly became a household name. Today, many homes have little disc-shaped robots that scuttle around on their own, mapping the floor and quietly sucking up dirt while we scroll on our phones. So the next time you hear your vacuum roaring across the carpet, remember, it's not just a household chore machine. It's the product of centuries of frustration with dust, a series of clever inventors, and one janitor who just wanted to breathe easier. From bellows and hand cranks to horse-drawn monsters, to the sleek cordless sticks and robot vacuums of today, the vacuum cleaner has one of the most fascinating journeys of any household appliance. And while no single person can claim full credit, one thing is clear, without their determination, we'd still be dragging rugs outside and choking on dust clouds. So who invented the vacuum cleaner? The answer is a whole team of inventors across decades, each one making our lives a little bit cleaner. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.